Let me introduce you to the new member of Level Fun, the Party Savers. Yes, a red party goer, but don't get fooled by thinking it is a party goer because it's not. First, there were yellow party goers. Then came the purple one, and now a red one too. I know it's getting out of hand now, but hear me out. You wouldn't regret knowing this new member of the backrooms, because unlike party creators and party goers, party savers are the good entities. Yes, that's right. Finally, a savior in the backrooms after party poopers. In fact, their name itself indicate that they're here to save the wanderers. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. Party savers, at first glance, may appear similar to party goers, but they're pretty distinguishable because of their bigger size, which is almost equal to party creators. And another major difference is their frowning face and the red color body, unlike their counterparts who bear a perpetual creepy smile on their face. Additionally, party savers are not covered with blood like party creators because they're not predators, but rather protectors. However, party savers' red skin appears to be a little stained with dirt, and that's because their job is not easy. They're tirelessly dedicated towards rescuing individuals from party goers and particularly from party creators. Furthermore, they stay hidden most of the time for a significant part of their mission, not due to an inability to overpower a party creator. In fact, they do it because they don't want blood in their hands, hence they're avoiding violence and sparing party creators' lives. Party savers are found in both Level Fun and Level Fun Plus. However, as they stay hidden, not many wanderers are aware of their presence. Party savers only appear if they see a dire necessity to save a wanderer who is in danger. They also save wanderers from falling into the trap of party goers and party creators. For example, if a wanderer stays long enough in Level Fun, party creator appears and escorts them to Level Fun Plus by luring them into having more fun. So, in a scenario like this, if a party saver appears before a party creator, they send the wanderer back to the level he came from. Or in some cases, they also have the power to send them to a safe level, like level 37, the pool room, level 154, the neon express, or level after party. That's how party savers save a wanderer. But there is one condition. The party saver need to appear before the party creator. If they fail to do so, and a party creator reaches the wanderer first, then party savers don't intervene. Reason being, party savers are non-violent creatures. Hence, they don't like to fight anyone, and they don't want to be spotted. So, can a party saver defeat a party creator? Yes, they definitely can. Due to the fact that party savers are the same size as party creators, they can fight off and easily defeat a party creator if they want to. However, they chose not to do so. Party savers' main habitat is the hidden areas of Level Fun Plus, where the party creators can't reach easily. Few documented interactions suggest that party savers are saving wanderers since a long time now, but we're learning about them just recently. Wanderer 1 said, I was wandering for what felt like an eternity, feeling utterly hopeless, but then out of nowhere this kind figure appeared. It guided me, provided me with food and shelter, and gave me a sense of safety I hadn't felt in the back rooms. Wanderer 2 said, I stumbled upon a room that seemed different from the rest, warm and inviting. There was a presence there, something that felt caring and protective. 
It helped me find my way back to a more familiar and safe level. It's sad that party savers often appear when wanderers are at their most vulnerable and in need of assistance. They offer guidance, share food and supplies, and help them navigate the labyrinth corridors of the back rooms. So, now the million dollar question is, if party creators and party savers both reside in Level Fun Plus, and party savers don't even attack the party creators or kill them, then what's stopping the party creators to attack party savers? The reason they're not able to do it is because party savers have a secret base inside Level Fun Plus, where they hide most of the time. Neither party creators nor the party goers know about it. Within the enigmatic depths of the back rooms, where the boundaries between reality and nightmare blur, there exists this secret base, an elusive sanctuary where party saver entities find refuge. The entrance to this hidden heaven is often concealed, tucked away. Those who stumble upon it may experience a sense of awe and trepidation as they approach the unassuming door. But they can't really see a door. The door could only be seen and opened by a party saver. The base itself is a marvel of design, with cozy alcoves, soft furnishings, and a soothing ambiance. Mysterious symbols and markings adorn the walls, hinting at the mystical origins of the sanctuary. Inside, the base is filled with food supplies like canned food, almond water, and energy bars. As per one wanderer, it was like stepping into another world. The base felt safe, like a refuge from the never-ending maze of the back rooms. The entities welcomed me with open arms. I couldn't believe my eyes. It was as if the base existed to counter the darkness of the back rooms. The humanoid creatures here helped me recover and find my way. They looked like party goers, but the difference is they were good to me. This base reminds us of the party poopers base in level 52, known as the boredom room. Even they used to do the same for the wanderers, saving them and giving them refuge inside the boredom room. So coming back to party creators, party savers are not willing to disclose their base or compromise it in any way. That's the only reason they're not messing with party creators. As long as they're inside their secret base, they can still help the wanderers and save them from party creators. But if situation occurs, or somehow party creators find out about this base, party savers would not hesitate to fight them and save the wanderers. I guess that would be a really interesting fight, though. What do you guys think? Should party savers fight the party creators, or should they stay hidden forever? Let me know in the comment section below.